fresh caught Alaskan, yes, Alaskan salmon. Salmon, if I didn't say that correctly. And a new wireless barbecue thermometer? Ew, this is Dash. Get ready. All right, guys. So you heard it. You you heard me correctly. One of my coworkers was up in Alaska. He brought back these three beautiful salmon fillets. He sent me a, a message. He says, "Hey, if I bring back some salmon, could you smoke me some?" He said, "I'm gonna bring you one too." So, okay. So he said, uh, I have two fillets that I need you to smoke for me, and one you can have for yourself. So fresh Alaskan salmon, yes please. And uh, I want to send a special shout out to uh, CJ. Thank you CJ so very much for sending this out. I finally have something worthy of trying out this new wireless barbecue thermometer. You guys know how I love my thermometers, so I'm going to go ahead and get the smoker set up. <clears throat> I'm going to season these fillets two different ways. I'm going to season one fillet the way I normally season my fillet, and my coworker actually provided me some Alaskan salmon seasoning to season his other fillet with. So I'm going to get, get it all broken down. That was the ice maker. I'm going to get it all broken down. I'll see you back in a bit. 20 minutes later. All right. So, I'm going to take the top food, two fillets out of this package and I'm going to get them on this cutting board, get them cut in half, and then, oh man, interesting. Look at that amazing color. Now I'm going to save this last piece. I'm going to have this for dinner tomorrow. Cook that for the family. But these pieces, I'm going to get them cut in half and then I'm going to get them seasoned and we're going to put them out on the smoker. Now, if you have fresh salmon, one of the things, and I'll show you guys this, and I'll bring you in up close. All right. So if you ever have a fresh salmon fillet or a fillet that you, you know, a piece of salmon that you cut yourself, you can feel there are bones that run all along this side of the rib cage, basically. And how we get those out is a pair of needle nose pliers. I'm going to turn this this way so I can go right to left and I'm gonna go across and you can feel the bones now when you get salmon from like uh, from the market they've already done this and all you want to do is you want to just feel down for the bone and you grab it and pull it out It's a tedious process, as you can see. All right, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I got four bones out and I'm giving up because it is going on 9.30 and I'm trying to get this done tonight. So I'm gonna take this filet and I'm gonna cut it right in half. And 
and we have one there and two there, two pieces. I'm gonna get the other fillet and we'll get it cut in half. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get these guys seasoned and out onto the trigger. Okay, so I have my my salmon season. I said my my coworker salmon season. I'm cooking his tonight, and then I'm gonna vacuum seal it and take it to him on Thursday. Unfortunately, in order for me to make sure I had a video for you guys, yes, you, I'm cooking this a day ahead of schedule, and I'm gonna vacuum seal it. He asked me to actually vacuum seal it for him, bring it into work so he could take it home and kind of enjoy the pieces. Um, him and his wife, <clears throat> well, him, his wife, and his kids. So, time for me to go ahead. I'm gonna get this back on the platter and we're gonna get it out to the smoker so I'll see you guys outside. Okay, so you see, out of the trigger, I have my fish in, you know, in the smoker, and we are, uh, like I said, this is going on 9:45. But let me show you guys the fish, how I have it set up. I'm going to actually set, or have the smoker set, or the grill, the cooker, the trigger set to 250 degrees. I'm going to go inside and fiddle with those probes, and then I'm going to come back. I'm going to get the probe set for 143 degrees. Get them set for 143, probe each one of these pieces of salmon, then I'll pull them off as they're done. All right, so at this point, I put the salmon out on the trigger. I'm gonna get this box. I thought I opened it up. I guess I didn't open it up. Okay. All right. So I'm back out at the trigger and my Temperature probe on the trigger says we're sitting at 251 degrees. So I'm going to test that. And we're gonna use, again, this is the blunt probe. We're gonna stick it right down in the middle here. Let's move this, these guys out of the way. Stick this right down in here. stick and this piece back here I'm going right in the middle I'm using the meat itself to help hold up the probe number two I'm going to use the meat of the uh, I'm going to use the meat to hold up the probe and we're just going to get it in at about a 45 degree angle now because I only have three probes and I have four pieces of fish I'm going to bet that this piece of fish up here up front it's gonna be done before this piece back here. And uh, we're going to set this down carefully. And I'm gonna go inside and monitor. Later that same evening. Let me just say wow, okay? So because of the fact that I was dilly-dallying and filming and all that stuff, the salmon actually was left out a little longer than I would have liked it to have been. But that's okay, because 
The couple pieces of fish that finished uh, like almost as soon as I got the temperature probe outside onto the grill was there were a couple of the smaller pieces were done basically as soon as I probed them. So that's fine. Um, and I double checked with my thermal pen. They all came up to 145 degrees. There was one piece, this one piece, which is the thickest piece. It took the longest and I was able to actually use the app on the phone, set the alarm, and it took like 10 minutes longer than everything else. So, uh, truth be told, I also was able to put the that temperature probe in the middle of the uh, middle of the grate. The grate was cooking closer to 300 degrees, which explains why the fish was done in about 45 minutes. I'm not mad at that at all. Uh, and the one piece took closer to an hour. I was trying to slow this cook down and actually let it take its time, but I can smell some smoke off of these pieces of fish. I can all of those things that are like, like I want to take a piece of these pieces, but this is not mine. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let these cool for a few minutes, probably about a half an hour, 45 minutes. I'm going to get the vacuum sealer out and I'm going to vacuum seal each one of these individually and um, go from there. Thoughts on the, the wireless thermometer? I think it's pretty dope. In the app, you are able to actually use a graph and you can check track the temperature over time. I think if the only difference is the only thing that I saw in there that I, I would like to be able to change is the ability to change the time from like a 24 hour clock to a 12 hour clock. I haven't found that ability as of yet. Other than that, it worked flawlessly. I was able to check the temperature at the grate. I was able to check the temperature in, in the particular meat. Salmon fish is something that's a little delicate and probably hard to get one of those big probes like there is into it. But to be completely honest, it, it showed me a, a true reading of the temperature uh, backed up by the Mark IV Thermapen and so far so good. I'll test it out a little bit more here and there and then I'll, I'll talk to you guys about it once I form a really good opinion. I'm sure I'll find something you know that could be modified or changed. So like I said, I'm going to let this sit out for a little bit and I'm going to then go ahead and get each of the four pieces vacuum sealed. I'm tired, I'm going to bed. Anyway, as you see, the salmon was rather quick and easy. Salmon is one of my favorite things to do, one of my favorite things to cook because it is so quick and easy. That cook took less than 45 minutes. I told you guys it, uh, the well, it took probably about an hour actually. Uh, the majority of the fish was done in about 45 minutes. Those, the, those salmon fillets, were smaller than I normally get. Now again, those were freshwater Alaskan salmon fillets. I think my coworker told me they were from the Kansai River. I'm not sure, I'll have to look that up and see exactly where it is. But nonetheless, thank you guys so very much as always for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. If you like what you saw today, if you learned something, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to turn that notification bell on so you can be notified whenever one of these videos goes live. Don't forget, we do live streams, or I do live streams on Wednesdays at 9 p.m. Eastern. Be there or be square. Last but not least, don't forget, <laughs> my P.O. box is always down in the description below if you want to send me something. And oh, it wasn't the last thing. Shirts and stickers are available on the website. There's a link to the website down below as well. So that was the last thing. All of those things being said, thank you so very much again. I'll see you next time.